The University of Georgia Police Department have taken a suspect in custody in connection with the suspected homicide of a 22-year-old nursing student from Augusta University who police found dead on the University of Georgia campus Thursday. Police have charged Jose Antonio Ibarra with malice murder, felony murder, aggravated battery, aggravated assault, false imprisonment, kidnapping, hindering a 911 call, and concealing the death of another, UGA Police Chief Jeffrey L. Clark said during the news briefing Friday evening, The suspect is not a you. Citizen, according to authorities, Ibarra measures 5 foot 3 inches and weighs 170 lbs, per the Clark County Sheriff's Department booking sheet. Lakin measured 5 feet 4 inches, weighing 115 lbs, according to a UGA Police Department report. The evidence is robust, he told reporters, crediting campus security cameras in part for the arrest. Clark said he believed the attack was a crime of opportunity and that the suspected killer had no known connection to the victim. Ibarra is not a UGA student, he added. Ibarra's immigration status was not immediately known to investigators, the chief said, adding that he believed the suspect is from Venezuela. Right now, I don't know his full status, he said. He is not a citizen of the United States. Police initially swept up three to four people during the early stages of the investigation, but were only arresting and charging Ibarra, Clark added. While the perpetrator's legal status is unclear, if the chief's statement is accurate and that he is a Venezuelan migrant potentially admitted under the continuing special status program, it is past time to recognize the obvious Maduro has taken a page from Castro's book and is emptying his. Criminals into the U. Sir, when we are holding the door open for them, Paul Morrow, a retired NYPD inspector, told Fox News Digital. Riley had previously attended UGA before entering a nursing program at Augusta's Athens campus, where she made the dean's list. Police were asking anyone who saw anything relevant or suspicious between 7 a. m. And noon Thursday around UGAA's intramural fields and Lake Herrick to call 700 6500 That's where they found Riley with visible injuries within 30 after they received a call from a concerned friend who said she went for a run and didn't come back. According to an incident report obtained by Fox News Digital, Multiple officers began searching for Riley near the intramural fields around 12, 7 p.m. At 12, 38, a UGA police officer spotted her on the ground. I called out to Riley, and I did not get a response, the officer wrote. She had visible injuries, and police could not locate a pulse. They began CPR anyway. A sergeant arrived with a defibrillator minutes later and unsuccessfully attempted to revive the victim. Based on the injuries and Riley's physical condition, I suspected that foul play was involved, the police report reads. Investigators were reviewing the officer's body cam for additional evidence. Autopsy results remain pending Friday, but authorities said they were investigating her death as a homicide. Clark said it appeared as though she had been killed by blunt force trauma. Classes and events at both universities were canceled Friday. Lake Herrick is part of UGA's campus, nestled between various university practice fields and Ockney Forest Park. The lake is bordered by a pedestrian trail and has a recreational beach. Authorities are asking the public to avoid the area as they investigate. The last time UGA reported a homicide on campus was 20 years ago, UGA Police Chief Jeffrey Clark said during a Thursday evening news conference. The police chief said that there was not immediate danger on campus. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and share video with your friends.